Bird, what's up? <laughs> oh, what's up, people? This is your boy Jatwa, and I'm going to try this again. All right, let's see what happens when I switch over. Uh, it takes off upwards again. I can't seem to get this to work because this craft wants. This is AC2. This is my new aircraft carrier, but it is having a bit of an issue because when I switch away from it, it goes skyward. Here we go. Look at it take off. <laughs> You can't fight that. Why? And then I, I look. It's like it's like red light, green light. You look away like red light, <laughs> green light. Uh oh. 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 Ooh. You're gonna see it is rather large size, and I should be able to land on it pretty easily. Let me see if I can um. Can I target it? Let me target, target, tar target, 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 target. I give up on that. All right, no targeting. Screw it. We're going for a landing. Uh, okay, we got this. Got to have confidence in your craft. Confidence. I got this. I got this. Alright, we're going to slow ourselves down as much as possible here without going to a complete stall. And here we go. Uh, nice gentle landing and come on, stop! Stop! Wait! Come on! Yes! Oh, man! Okay! Oh, oh! I was hoping I had made that long enough because you'll see that and once again these these parts are coming from uh one second i can remember this i can remember this uh, i believe it's kermageddon's mod uh and it brings in some of these these structural parts you see here i can't really click on them right now but it brings it brings these in now these originally did not uh tweak scale wasn't able to modify them before so, uh, I will be honest, I just added a little configuration in there, and, and now TweakScale is able to control, is able to increase the size. And in case you're wondering, the code for that looks a little like this. And that's how I was able to get away from my previous one, which was flip-flopping all over the place. And I'll show you that one here in a second, after we make sure we can lift back off. So, let's give this a shot. We're gonna go full throttle. Uh, except for that was not full throttle that was complete reverse all right uh, let's let's try this again there we go and we lift off nice and easy trying to land on this runway here and there we go with these air brakes it works fantastic even though it looks like Sonic the Hedgehog I don't care it works I'm happy <laughs> Okay, so Archduke is doing exactly what I wanted to do. So next goal is to, well, I guess we'll lift this one back, we'll revert it back, and I'm going to show you the unfortunate event that I call uh, Croc, the Croc 2. You're not a lapdog. A lapdog, you are not. You're too big to be a lapdog. Give me kisses. Oh, you don't know what I Next time you're building an airplane, don't crash me, bro. Don't crash me, bro. Don't crash me, bro. Uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's try this. <laughs> this is corrupt too. It did not crash the game this time. Now you see how big I was going before. Now the reason I went ahead and and try and applied tweak scale to those parts was because as you see here. This is actually three wide. The other one is just one wide. It's just increased in size. And it's actually quite a few modules. And this one is actually still slightly smaller than AC2 that is over here. Still looks good. Still looks good. 
and now you see the back end it's starting to lift a little uneven now I normally would just start make adjustments to the engines uh, for the thrust for that but as I kept doing it it kept not working so I just one day decided whatever we're just gonna go for it eight to toggle our hover now you see the problem here bouncing all over the place slamming into things and if you asked me to land a craft on this and I was the pilot I would laugh at you there's no way this would even happen oh and there it goes slamming downwards so yeah this is some of the trouble I was having yesterday and as you can see all those parts come together and it makes this extremely terrible <laughs> lag as everything just kind of grinds down my frames per second actually dropped down to about four at one point uh, and oh god oh god it's so it's so painful to watch Oh, and there it goes. <laughs> hey, wait, I'm not done here. Come back. Where are you going? All right, so we are coming up on AC2. Just to give you a quick perspective on size here, this that I'm flying right now is one of my smallest crafts I have ever created. And this is one of the biggest ones I have ever created. <laughs> uh, that being said, there's a huge difference. This is like taking my little Fiero against a semi-truck. A ginormous aircraft carrying semi-truck. Alright, ready? <laughs> there you go! That's the size difference between the two. And to keep uh, put this in perspective, this is about the size of a Kerbal. A Kerbal can actually, can actually stand on this. It won't hover too well because, well, I think Kerbins are permanently bound to the earth if you try to make a hoverboard for them. Nice and easy, nice and easy. So this is going to give us a nice little view, <laughs> hopefully, of this monstrosity that I've created. Yeah, we fit just nice and under. So, <laughs> that is a really cool view of a craft that is absolutely just massive. That is absolutely ridiculous, if you ask me. Uh, nice and easy, so I don't blow up my little hover. But yeah, this is my newest aircraft carrier. Once I can manage to get it to stay in the air, once I can find out the right mod to use, once I can find out the right engines or blimps or what to use to keep it nice and balanced in the air, it's going into the air and I'm going to see if I can just kind of let it hover there. I don't think there's many controls that will allow it to actually stay up there because almost everything I try so far has failed. But for now, if you like what you're seeing, hit that like button, share this out to your friends. What type of crafts, what's your biggest craft? Let us see, you know, get a picture, post it up, in the, in the comments down below, show us your biggest craft. Let us see what you have created, and so, you know, we can all ooh and all over each other's creations. This is a, can be a lot of fun. But hopefully you have enjoyed it, and if you know of a mod that will actually work to get, get this in the air and stay there, and not bounce away from me and not take off on its own when I go to uh, actually try to land on it with another craft let me know because I'm not sure if it's something that the game can handle at this point but hopefully it's something it can handle eventually though but for now I'm gonna get on out of here if you have not yet go ahead and hit that subscribe button and I hope to catch you guys in the next video for now this is your boy Jatois and I'm out peace that is a big ass. Oh, it is very awesome. They can do some extremely steep moves. Which is really impressive for a craft of this size. I don't even know where we're at. Oh. <laughs> now. <laughs>